all right. So this is our workbook. As always, let's flip over to the page that we're going to start with. And we talked about uh, value, which was one of the elements of art. So today, I want to talk about one of the principles of design, and one of them is called balance. So balance is basically uh, when you balance an image or when you have an image that's balanced in a certain way. So we have three examples here. There is symmetrical, there's asymmetrical, and there's also radial types of balance right here. So I did do examples of this on a blank sheet of paper like this. So if you don't have the workbook, you can kind of copy like how I did right here, like just fold a piece of paper in half, have three blocks, and you can kind of just follow along with us. But since we have the workbook here, I don't need to do that. So I'm just gonna put this aside. Hopefully you guys can see if I just put it right there. So the first one is symmetrical. So symmetry is something that we've done a couple years ago Raise your hand if you guys remember symmetry bugs from second grade. You guys remember symmetry bugs from second grade? If not, it's okay. Especially if you didn't have me, that's okay. Now, symmetry is basically when you have something mirror on one side from the other. So this line right here, the dotted line, this is called the line of symmetry. And basically anything that you do on one side gets mirrored completely on the other side. So I do have an example of a bad one and an example of a good one on this side. So which one is the correct way of uh, completely reflecting something from the line of symmetry? Is the top one correct or the bottom one correct? Anyone know? Uh, I'll hold it up closer. Which one's correct? Anyone know? I'm going to pick Aviaka. Which one's correct? The bottom one. Good job. Notice how the bottom one, it completely has a complete flip uh, reflection. So notice how the tips of it are on the top. But on the top, it kind of like flips it and rotates it to the other direction. So that one's incorrect. So what you're gonna do, I use the game controller as an example, but I've noticed when I was going midway through when I was drawing it, game controllers are not symmetrical because you had to make the D-pad or like the little cross sign on one side, but then the three, the four buttons are on the other side. So game controllers are not symmetrical. So you're gonna have to do something else. So either do a bug, you could do like maybe a symmetrical tree, a house on this little box. So I'm going to do my own design. Maybe I'll do a bug maybe. So maybe I'll do half a bug right here. Do the body. I'll do the antenna. And I'll just do the wings. And to the best of my ability, I'm going to try, try to draw the exact same thing on the other side. So here is, again, half the head, long body. Here's the wing and then here's the bottom wing i try to do my best to make it symmetrical there's the antenna there so a butterfly is completely symmetrical you could do it you could have done a bee centipede um a pencil if you put it the correct way if you put a pencil up and down that would have worked i see that uh will is holding up his he did a tree perfectly symmetrical nice all right um Let's talk about asymmetry. Asymmetry is when it's balanced on a, on a piece of paper based on the weight. And what I mean by weight is that when there's a lot of stuff going on on one side of the paper, it's heavily weighted on that side. And when it's blank on the other side, that's where it's very light. So we have two examples here. One's a modern example and one's more of a landscape. So basically what it means is that something that's not symmetrical in easy terms. So I'm just going to draw a couple hills here like this. And if I just draw those hills just like that, it's already asymmetrical because it's not one big hill and it's not like one flat land. And it's not the same on both sides. So already, it's already not symmetrical. Maybe I'll just draw one tree on one side like this. Make sure maybe some of the tree kind of like dips into the other side like that. And now it's very asymmetrical. There we are. And then I guess I'll just add like a sun or something. There you go. All right, so that is an example of asymmetry, which is great. All right, this one is a little more technical. We might do a project like this back when we go back to school. But this is called radial. Radial is when all four, six, or eight sections of uh, kind of like a circular pattern is all mirroring each other. So this one's a little bit hard. But the best way how I like to approach it is start from the middle of the page or the middle of the square 
So in our case, we have dotted lines going up and down, and we have dotted lines going side to side. So I'm going to use the center of that dot as my midpoint. So I'm just going to put like a little dot right there so I know. And then I'll kind of do like patterns going around that section. So maybe I'll do like, hmm, maybe I'll just do spikes like this, like that. Maybe I'll do kind of like loop-de-loops, one, two, three, like that. And maybe I'll do like a circle or a half, a quarter circle, I should say, like that. So I'm going to hold my paper up so you guys can see. So notice how I just went directly from that dot. And using that dot as my reference, I just made my patterns going away from that dot. That's the best way how to do this project or this part of the worksheet. You just use the center of the paper and just go away from that dot using that one side. I'm going to change color just so you guys can see what's going on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my blue. I'm going to try to copy that side right there. So this side goes down like this point and then half a point and then it looks like I did three bumps so one two three and I did like a quarter circle I'm gonna try to do that as best I can there we are so now that you see I did kind of a quarter of my design like that and notice how it's originating from the middle the rest of that square looks way easier now now you could definitely tell what's gonna happen next if it's a lot easier, some people just like, kind of like flip it over like this. They can do the other side like that. It's pretty simple. We can just kind of do like up and down like how I'm about to do. So all I gotta do, I'm gonna change colors again, and then I'm gonna try to mimic this whole entire side on the opposite end. So here we go. It looks like there's three spikes. So I gotta do half spike there, half spike there, and then three spikes. So one, two, three. And then it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six bumps now. So one two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm just gonna complete the semicircle as best as I can. There we are. All right, that's decent. And there we go. So that's how radial patterns work. Awesome possum. All right, we do have about six minutes left. Um, I'll tell you what, we will, hmm. All right, tell you what, let's, here, let's do this. Why don't we just take a look at the next page? So we're going to talk about lettering next week, and it's going to be really, really fun. But since we only have about six minutes left, just jump to the next page real quick, and it's called bubble lettering. So bubble lettering, I did do an example right here on this little blank sheet of paper. So if you don't have a packet, blank sheets of paper work just fine. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna try to copy what they did using their directions. So it says, step number one, lightly draw a large letter. Step number two, draw all the way around the letter and inside. And step number three, erase the original letter. So that's what I did over here. And I do have an announcement because I know some people like to leave early. Um, if you are from Mrs. Weber's class, just make sure you guys stay after. We have something to discuss. So make sure if you're from Ms. Weber's class, please stick around. And as always, make sure you guys fill that out in the survey. So right now, all you're gonna do is fill out this bubble lettering uh, project right here. Uh, I have, you have the five blocks of rows here. I'll leave my example up. And for the bottom one, instead of doing bubble letters, I did blocky letters. And then I made them three-dimensional. I don't have time to talk about how to make them three-dimensional with you right now, um, because I did promise you guys last week that you would have time to share some of your own art. So does anyone want to share what they've done when it comes to maybe art videos or any other project they've done? Because I did say I'd give you guys some time now. I'm going to pick Aviaka. You want something to share? Uh, I actually made two things. The first one, I made this, like, dragon kind of thing. Cool. And the second one, I made this, like, car like a Lambo. Oh, nice. I wish I got into drawing cars again. All right, anyone else want to share? We have plenty of time. Anyone else? I know Will had his hand up. Will, you want to share something? Yeah, can I go grab something really quick? Sure, while you're getting it, I'm going to pick on someone else. So go, go grab it real quick. Oh, yeah. All right, Mariah, would you like to share something? <laughs> anyone? 
And she's I gone. made this for my mom. It's just Whoa. like a little canvas that I painted with acrylic paint. That looks very particularly nice and very colorful. Nice. I like it. The only reason I'm saying that is because it's very hard to see, but it's really good. Good job. All right, Landon, you want to share something? And then after Landon, we'll go back to Will. Um, I drew a picture of my favorite YouTuber's Roblox character. Cool. Micro Guardian. Nice. All right. Uh, Will, we're back to you. So this was the first thing I drew. This is what I drew yesterday. And I'm like probably everyone else. This took me about probably 45 minutes. If but I think it turned out really nicely. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the Illusion Project. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, we normally do that during school, but I'm glad you guys were able to and do that. This is something that I stenciled a while ago, but I just wanted to share it again because I really have kept it on my fridge this the whole entire time because oh, I think good. it was really nice. That's really good. That's a really good car, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think we have time for one more, and then we can we can all share something. But by putting it on our screen, all right. I'm gonna pick Drew. Um, this is from like a couple weeks ago ish. It's just a rough sketch. Wow, that's really good. That's really really good. Wow, you guys are getting really good at art without me. All right. Um, uh, if you guys have some other stuff to share, if you just want to hold it up to the screen, you can. And then in about two minutes, I think Mrs. Gazowski's class can get going in a little bit. Uh, but just don't forget to fill out your attendance for the day. I think you guys are gonna have to do like a questionnaire or survey. I see Jalen holding up some artwork. Nice, good job. And with that said, uh, while people drop off, uh, you don't have to say goodbye this time, but I'm gonna give the floor to Ms. Surak. Let me just stop recording first though. All right, uh, oh, <laughs> it's gonna go to your drive again.